forming a dramatic backdrop to the city of Bogo, Gunung Salak looks down upon one of the most densely populated areas of Java. Though located on the outskirts of a bustling metropolitan area, this brooding mountain is also the gateway to an unspoiled wilderness. Gunung Halimun Salak National Park comprises the largest expanse of primary rainforest remaining on the island of Java. The over 100,000 hectare park lies only a three to four hour drive from Jakarta, Indonesia's capital. Flanked by cities and towns with tens of millions of people, the park is a refuge for some of the most endangered species in Indonesia. Called the Mountain of the Mist in the Sundanese language, the forested slopes of Mount Halimun are regarded as the abode of powerful spirits. For centuries, local residents have ventured into the quiet, luxuriant forest, seeking divine blessing or spiritual power. They perform rituals at ancient sites such as Chanti Chibuduk, an ancient temple that links the misty mountains to Java's misty past. Today, the park welcomes visitors seeking not spiritual guidance, but worldly knowledge. Researchers from throughout Indonesia and the world come to the park, often staying for extended periods at Chikaniki Research Station. Their research into the myriad species living in the pristine Halimun rainforest is helping to determine the importance that biodiversity plays in maintaining a healthy natural environment. Now, the park is hosting more casual visitors. Easy, accessible and well-maintained trails have opened Gunung Halimun Salak National Park to anyone seeking a personal, intimate experience of unspoiled natural wonders. Department of Forestry officials who manage the park are happy to share their comprehensive knowledge with their guests. They also ensure that all visitors are aware of proper procedures so they may enjoy the park while having minimal impact on the environment. The four-kilometer loop trail is the highlight tour of the park, an entertaining, relaxed introduction to the tropical rainforest. In the deep shade of giant trees, the warm, humid environment supports an astounding variety of life literally millions of plant and animal species. The prodigious biodiversity of the Halimun ecosystem guarantees that a new discovery awaits at every bend in the trail. Along with a concise explanation of the niche the species occupies in the Halimun ecosystem, many descriptions of rainforest species belie the seemingly tranquil environment. The pitcher plant is one of the plant kingdom's few carnivores enticing insects into a slick walled chamber from which there is no escape. Other plants prey on their own kind. Figs attach themselves to the trunk of a mature tree, sending roots downwards in the search for water and nutrients, and upwards to collect sunlight, competing with the host tree for the essentials of life. The tranquility of the forest floor is deceptive. In reality, the forest teems with life. But most activity takes place not on the ground, but in the trees above. The preferred habitat for the majority of rainforest inhabitants is the high canopy, beyond the reach of most predators. The monkeys are only the most visible and audible of these tree dwellers. Nimble and sure-footed, small mammals and reptiles find ready nutrition in the fruits, leaves and bark. Or feast on the unknown millions of insects living in each hectare of canopy. Perhaps a quarter of all insect species live in rainforest canopies. In Gunung Halimun Salak National Park, the world is not hidden from the view of land-bound humans. The canopy walk, built to support the activities of researchers, offers anyone an intimate glimpse into this arboreal world. 
At 25 meters, the walkway is at eye level with the bustling life of the canopy. The canopy walk is popular with bird watchers who can view the objects of their fascination at relatively close range. Of the 30 bird species found only in Java, nine can be seen in the park, including the Java hawk eagle, one of the most endangered birds on Earth. The canopy walk is not the highest part of the trail. The pathway climbs along the southern slope of Gunung Halimun, eventually reaching a height of 1,500 meters before looping down to the village of Chitalahau. At 1,000 meters above sea level, the vegetation undergoes a marked change. The towering giants of the lowland forest are replaced by smaller trees, and the flowering plants give way to orchids, ginger, and more primitive flora. Over 250 species of orchid, including several very rare varieties, flourish in the montane forest. Some species find a safe perch on a convenient branch, adding a decorative touch to the towering forest giant. Other species conceal themselves with artful camouflage. Higher yet, as the air chills, ferns and moss dominate, primitive plants already ancient when the first dinosaurs appeared on Earth. Not all of the park is unruly natural forest. As a change of pace, the orderly rows of shrubs at the Nirmala Agung tea plantation, which occupies 1,000 hectare enclave in the park, is a reminder of an age when Java was one of the major tea producing regions in the world. While the four hour trek along the Loop Trail offers an intriguing glimpse into the tropical rainforest, Proper exploration requires a two-day hike through more remote areas of the park and to the peak of Mount Halimun itself.